Okay, this is Paula G. We are back and we are on what's called in Manchester the Curry Mile. And we have a lot of stores, restaurants, shops from different countries. And these are the, it's one of the shops up here with uh, just some beautiful dress wear for the ladies. Uh, hookah bar. I don't have a lot of those. Uh, we won't look inside too hard. They get to start to feel in some kind of way. You start looking at them. Which is one thing I've discovered is that um, unless I'm at an event like the festival, people aren't too uh, keen on talking to you for a variety of reasons. And we respect that. So we just kind of look. One of the restaurants here. And down here, we're coming up on just another Ladbrokes, another one of the shops. These are some of the, uh, like I said, we've got people who shop on these streets from different countries so a lot of it is traditional from the different countries some of the fabrics are just beautiful and some of the attire and it's not um, specific to one particular culture religion what have you it's just you know you can rock it rock it You can rock it. I don't know, Paula G might want to rock that. What you think? Some gold shoes and a gold purse. Oh yeah. Okay, hold on girls. Some more shops across the street. Delhi restaurant, India. Kansas fried chicken. And we're coming up on one of my favorite restaurants. This one right here, this Afghan cuisine. The birani rice, the chicken, the kebab. Love it, love it, love it, love it. One of my favorite spots when I come here. There's the brothers, I think, that um, run this from Afghanistan. And when I tell you they can cook, oh, good God Almighty. This, uh, I forget, I think that's Turkish. Dubai Cafe. And I'm not quite sure. Oh, that's a Turkish. That's a Turkish grill cafe right here. And I mean, all these places are right next to each other. Al Medina. 
You gotta hold my hand or the pram, one of the two. My hand or the pram. Al Medina. I'm not sure this is halal, but I'm not sure what it is. Covadia Place. Huh? Everything is halal, yes. That's Turkish. Okay. All of the restaurants. Yes. All the restaurants are halal. What is this right here? What is that? Huh? Which one do you like? You like what? You do? Okay, I'm getting a lesson here from a four-year-old. Yeah, where's it? What about this one? Huh? Yeah? All Arabic. Is that what you told me? They're all Arabic? Yeah? Oh, they all have Arabic signs, so they're all Arabic, I'm being told by a four-year-old. And she's probably right. What? All Arabic. And lots and lots in the halal, which means, simply means, it has just been blessed. If it's food, I mean, if it's meat, if it's um, sweets, whatever it is, if it's halal, it just simply means that there was a blessing over it uh, before it was put on the shelf. Yes, that's another Arabic restaurant. All right, y'all. We're on the hurry. Oh, see, I see, I see. We're on the hurry mile. Come, come. Yes, I see that one too. Apple juice. Okay. What about this one down here, all the way in the front? Naima. Hey. What about that one, all the way down? Hmm. See, that one's halal. Crunchy. Check this out. Crunchy fried chicken halal. Okay. So you know. Ooh. Look at that. Look at these dresses. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I like the gray ones. You, you like the gray ones? You do? They are beautiful. It's a Beirut restaurant. Hold on. Alright, this is Paula G on Perry Mile in Manchester, UK.